Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to The Money Way. And today in this video, we're gonna be doing a stock analysis on VAD or ticker symbol VVI. So uh, in the past day, VAD has gone up 7.3%. But if we go to something like the five year chart, you can see it's a pretty well performing stop, stock with a high of $70. And it went up 150% in just five years. But of course, after Corona and on the different traveling restrictions, that really affects the services that we're going to go over that VAD has to offer. So right now, you can get at an extremely discounted price. It was at a high of $70, and now you can buy it for just $16.47. So for you guys that can't do math, that's about a 4x. So let's say you put in $10,000. You'll be walking out on um, when it returns to the previous value, and that's if it returns to the previous value with about forty thousand dollars. So not a lot of people either know about this stock or they just don't want to buy it at all. It's definitely not that popular with investors on Robinhood, but when we go over the different services and they even have a pretty good uh, dividend yield when compared to some other companies that don't even have any at all. Um, we can see that their services are actually pretty good and it would make sense that their stock plummeted the way they did with all the different traveling restrictions, the corona cases going up and to be honest guys when you look at it from an extended point of view it's really surprising that the stock market is going up in the past couple weeks especially with I believe it was either 50 or 60 thousand new cases of um, coronavirus that's really surprising to me and um, just the way that this you know this country um, likes their stocks and their economy uh, over the health and safety of their own people it's just really surprising to me not trying to start any you know political you know fire anything but anyways I found this good summary that's basically summarizes the services that this company has to offer in the different form of investments that they do in order to protect their funding and revenue. So let's get right into it. Um, VAD is an S&P small cap 600 international experiential services company with operations in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, continental Europe, the United Arab Emirates, and Iceland. VAD generates revenue and shareholder value through two business units. So these are the two services that they uh, or category, category of services that they provide. So Pursuit and GES. So just to summarize what this goes into more detail about, Pursuit is more about traveling. So they provide you with um all these different places and experiences that for people that want to travel the world, you basically go to Viad and they'll set you up with plane tickets, you know, hotel rooms, resorts, sightseeing, um, different activities in the area. I mean, they'll give you a, like a full package and it would make sense that in a time like this, all the, these different traveling opportunities are not going to be that as available, especially with people, you know, closing down shop, all these different activities, you know, um, stopping from generating revenue as they would before. GES, on the other hand, is like concerts, it's like nightclub experiences, DJs, all this different stuff that really gives you a fun time. So, pursuit, you're pursuing traveling, you're pursuing, you know, sightseeing. All these different fun memories while wow, GES you can go to like a concert or you can go to like a big stadium and they'll have like a fun you know dancing event or whatever it may be you know maybe there's a rapper a singer there's a DJ that comes you know all those different things but anyways let's get back into reading this our strategy strategy for pursuit is to significantly scale the business by growing and enhancing our high margin attraction and hospitality portfolio through our refresh, build, buy, and revenue management growth initiatives. So if you guys go ahead and do your own research on this and read through this, I'm going to basically summarize what they're going to say. And 
this is a team of investors but also a team of businessmen i mean they have their own investments in uh retail or sorry not retail um what was the word it was um oh real estate sorry so they have like houses they have like their own hotels that they own and they can basically make passive income so if all their profit that they uh, make from investors from services from all these different things all this uh, revenue they can profit even more by gaining small percentages over the years I mean other companies are not doing this with their money um, at all some companies just uh, you know give out their profit to workers all these different things shareholders but this company on the other hand really likes to make their their money work for them rather than them working for their money i mean they still have all these different services that provide revenue but with that revenue they look they like to make small percentages such as investing in the stock market investing in real estate and if you go look right here reinvested 589.3 million dollars back into the business in the form of capital expenditures and acquisitions a net of diversities of non-strategic real estate assets and another thing that they were looking for if you guys go ahead and look at the rest of the website is they even acquire certain businesses when it comes to the ges service they acquire you know stadiums they acquire nightclub businesses they require a bunch of businesses so that when it looks like they're setting you up with another company that's actually one of the companies that they own so let's say they hook you up with oh when you're traveling on a pursuit service uh there's this fine restaurant you know fine dining it's really expensive whatever it's a really good you know experience they could possibly own that restaurant i mean they own a lot of different you know real estate so maybe you're one of those hotels that you're staying at is actually one of the hotels that they own so they really look to maximize the amount of revenue that they can keep and reinvest back into the business and try to make more and more over time so yeah guys um, please do your own research on this stock. I, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion. Don't do anything I say. But before investing into any stock, especially one like this, one volatile one like this, I mean, it's seen highs of $28 in the past, but also seen lows of about 14 and maybe even $11 in the past. I mean, it's a really volatile and a really risky stock, especially with you know traveling shutting down again all these different businesses shutting down again i mean it's not looking good for viad anytime soon and that's why i took you know sort of a smaller position in them it's a high risk but in a time like this it's also a high you know reward especially with a high of 70 dollars i mean it's it's kind of the perfect time to buy in my opinion for a more risky play it's nothing like a blue chip stock or you know maybe like a apple or amd or something like this something more you know a more sophisticated and experienced company this isn't one of them it is experienced it has been here for a long time but you know with a company that drops this much there's obviously going to be some flaws and their sort of industry is sort of closing in on itself again so yeah guys if you like the content that i bring uh do three things like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss my next video and let me know down in the con comment section you know any questions you have what you think i can do better and what you think about this stock and company in general thank you guys so much for watching and have a great week